do a walk around of the uh, cart that I've just made. I, I didn't make this from scratch, it's actually repurposed. So, um, I have made a few things from scratch. And I've made a good bit of stuff has been repurposed of uh, something else. And then I've actually had several different things that I've put into a uh, hodgepodge or conglomeration and made something else out of it. So there's a bunch of different ways I've gone with things. But uh, my wife gives me a hard time because I don't uh, take pictures. And uh, pretty much everything I've made, is this is probably the first thing I've ever done anything, pictures or video or whatever. And it always ends up sold or give away or uses its usefulness and uh, end up uh, taking it apart and repurposing it or, or whatever. <clears throat> so, but I've needed one of these carts for a long while and I actually, I had a shopping cart that I got at a uh, flea market that I was using and um, it just wasn't heavy enough. Uh, it worked real good for holding tools and parts and things like that. and. Uh, but this actually, um, I find myself working on little stuff, weed eaters and chainsaws and small engines and things like that. And it it um, really, really has a need. So, but here we go. I took um, took this thing and I welded this angle on here, and uh, it's just like a tool holder. It can fit down inside here, and uh, have these air lines. And if you have an air tool on there, it'll sit down in there, and you can just just hang it on there um, they go down to a little a little manifold there's the main line on the bottom you hook an airline to and then on this side it's just a uh, little two foot three gang extension cord I welded little little loops on there you can just see them inside there and then just zip tied it to it and uh, I have a heavy 10 gauge extension cord that I can plug into it and um, that'll give me I can hook a grinder, drill, my MIG welder will hook up to it. Um, I couldn't find any power strips that went up to 20 amp capabilities, and that's what I need uh, specifically for my welder. Um, and I wanted to be able to just have everything nice and close and not extension cords all over the place. So I found that I was actually going to use a uh, PVC box and make my own a quad outlet box for it, but That's three. It was a good bit cheaper. It was only like $13 at Home Depot, so but um This thing this was the top and this was flipped over and it had uh, Hinges on each side and the top actually kind of flipped open like that and I took and cut the hinges off of it you can kind of see a remnant of one here flipped it over and uh, welded it together it's welded on the back side and then I welded it to the top so it makes like a nice tray work surface and, um, and then I made this door again with this was just some steel that I had laying around you can see where I had to uh, weld it together just use some old house hinges weld it on there go inside I still got to clean it out a little bit and I put a shelf in there so that works out really well cup holder can fit a pretty good size coffee cup in there oil can starting fluid whatever brake clean whatever you have going on um, this here was on the inside and it was fastened to a bracket this little bracket right here uh, took that loose I just made a drawer out of it. Um, this thing here, this was actually on my, uh, had it on my shopping cart. I could put notepads on there, uh, manual. Um, I have it set up so it will tilt. I have a tension bolt. You can tilt it up and it have a laptop on it. Got a set screw here. It telescopes up and down. It'll rotate 360 degrees wherever you need it to go. Um, and then I, I just welded that little piece of flat stock on there. It's a little tool holder. $10 yard sale find for a vise right on there. This side has no door. Um, 
And then my little loop with my paper towel holder. That little piece of chain just stays on her to keep the wind from unrolling the towel. And uh, it works really well. It's just a handle. I find myself draping a rag on there. Um, safety glasses, I'll clip them down on there. Uh, different things. This lip here works really well for like grinders and stuff. The, the guard on the grinder will hang right off there. Tape measures hang off of there. And um, so far I've used it a couple times. It works out really well. So very, very much needed. I'm really glad to have it. And uh, can't beat it for free. I think um, the only thing I bought was the two plastic airlines from Harbor Freight. They were $4 a piece. And then the chucks, I had to I had to buy those, and the extension cord, and um, the vise was ten dollars at a yard sale. So I don't know what a cart like that would be if I were to buy it outright. The wheels are really heavy; they're actually way bigger than what it uh, really exceed the weight capacity of what I'll ever do with that cart. But um, the cart's really heavy built too. Whoever did it uh, did a really nice job. So it's all eighth inch steel. And um, it's all welded up. Everything they uh, they bent some of that, but uh, all the seams where they joined the one end on and everything, they 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 welded them all the way. They didn't do stitches or anything. They they did one solid bead, which I guess sometimes could make uh, make the metal weaker, but it it looks a little better. But for what that is, it it works out really well. So that's my cart. Thanks for watching.